Hi, hello. Hi, hello. hello. Uh, hi. Fine. Nice to meet you. Nice I don't to meet know. you too. <laughs> and maybe, maybe I can share. Yeah, I can share my my script. It's okay to to share my desk. But... Oh yes. <laughs> Uh, maybe was it sad? I don't know how it looks. Welcome, Dr. Alinda Mata. Uh, we uh, are very interesting to uh, follow your full digital three step technique additive restorations. Thank you, Basse. I'm really happy to be here with you. Uh, it's a case I prepared a long time ago, so. I hope you're okay. I hope, I hope you are on the top and you can follow me about this case. It can be an um, enjoying case because um, I will told you about one person we, we follow during this case and it really a game changer, life changer. So we are talking about three-step technique. It's only an additive restoration, okay? We, we are really minimally invasive. So we just had to put some something, some ceramic or composite to restore all the function and all the aesthetic. It's, in this case, it's really rare because we can do it only full, full, full digital. Three-step technique. We can't talk about three-step without um, talking about Francesca Vailati with uh, Urs Belser. They are writing. They they write. Uh, they wrote a book about that to explain the three steps technique. Uh, only additive. There is a lot of lecturers. You can find it uh, because it's a long, long therapy, long uh, technique. Uh, you can you can have three different articles. You can have in 28, 28 spring, twenty in summer and autumn, uh, two thousand eight. And after they have a um, retrospective lecture in 2013, 2022, 2022. So there is a long, um, uh, how can I say that? Um, there is, it's really a good technique for long term. Okay. It, the, the, it's really, really strong and, and um, durable. And you can have only you can trust this technique, really. So I present to you Olivier. Olivier is a fitness coach. You can see the the man when he comes to the, the office. When he when there is a door, he comes back like that. He needs to push the door like that. He's a really strong man. He's a fitness coach and an oyster farmer. And we don't know if. It's because the oyster that he has some erosion and attrition of this teeth. He loses uh, enamel um, from er erosion. He... We don't know if it's oysters or not. Maybe, I suppose, because he can eat maybe six oysters by day because of his job, of course. So maybe this is the coat. We don't know. I ask him, Olivier, make a smile. Okay, <laughs> Olivier, make a really good smile. He doesn't like his smile. He doesn't like smiling. He, he can't bear it. It's not natural for him. Okay, okay. He's never, never smile. This is really painful when a, when a, a patient said that to you. I never smile. This is our job to make smile the people, and he can smile. Of course, his smile is good. I suppose there is something aesthetic, it's okay, but we can only see there is some some loose um, for anterior teeth. Maybe there is another loose of um, enamel, we can see. This is the aesthetic photos when you smile, and this is the medical photo. So we can see there is a lot of ear erosion, attrition, abfraction, it's not just a chemical. There is chemical and physical. So when we put uh, some photos, some pictures on the mouth, you can see all the different um, 
areas of less enamel. So this is upper upper edge and lower edge. And we can see all the erosion that it makes. You see that? So we need to, to put something more, something better for him because he can't smile and he has some pain, um, head, head pain, just only one here. So maybe there is something we can make it before, better for him. So the first time, uh, the first appointment when he came, I said, okay, make a print. So we print this uh, lower edge only. This is prime scan for, for uh, Sirona, uh, just to see, okay? So I made the print like that. Of course, I made the upper, upper height too, so the maxillary, it's okay. You can paint loads some teeth. There is some decays, okay. And the last impression I made is occlusion, okay? I put the occlusion, how he bites. This is how he bites. So if we need to, to put some, some composite or, or some ceramic, we need to know how is he bites, of course. So we try to make them. We can use the mojo. I don't know if someone here knows the mojo. It's um, um, a record of how we bite like that. Okay. But I have an idea. I put the mojo of the poor woman, of the poor woman. I put just two uh, rolls, okay, cotton rolls from the posterior teeth. And I made another print, another impression. Like for example, for example here, biocopy, okay? So I choose another impression, biocopy. And with the cotton roll, I print this time, okay? I give that everybody, everything to my prosthodontics, my laboratory, and he made something like that. So we have the new bite of Olivier, and we try to know, try to make like a GPS. We want to know how we can bite with new, new occlusion. And you can see there is some areas where we don't need to, to put some big, big um, restoration. We just sometimes need a little bit restoration, a small restoration by composite, for example. This kind is the, really the GPS. Thanks to that, you know where you have to go. It's really important before going. <laughs> it's better to know where you go. So we put some something like that. So the, the project is okay. Now we need to, to know if it's okay for Olivier. So my my proto, my prosthetic, the laboratory, made that. It jumps some um temporary. Um, not key, but temporary crowns, it's not crown. It's just a small piece of composite that I will um, put in the mouth, but with a new occlusion to be sure that Olivier is okay with that. So you have the upper, the lower edge. This is from the anterior teeth because we think before uh, prepare the veneers, we prefer before use this kind of um, composite to rehab the occlusion, okay? So all these things we put in the same appointment to Olivier. First etching, then drying, then bonding, okay? So here we don't have to prepare the teeth. It's just to know where you go. So maxillary, it's okay. I stick that everywhere, everywhere. I separate the different tooth because it's too strong to, to let it together. We, we put tooth by tooth. And the lower edge, okay? In the back, we can stay. There is three different 
um, composite. Can you see? Hello? Hello? So Olivier can, can go back to home like that. Okay, we just, no preparation, no preparation, just etching, drying, bonding. It's okay. You can see on the left, on the right, just bonding. We are in January, okay, in January 2021. So that's, it's a long, um, long-term case. And we lose Olivier because he was sick. He has some pain in the back and um, in the back. Um, so he can, he can stay in a long time on the, on the office. So we wait. He has COVID. So we wait again. But during the six months, he don't feel pain about his teeth, about disarticulation, about uh, his head. He feels so, so better with that. He, can't, he doesn't work anything. Everything was okay. Everything is uh, perfect for the, the, the next part of the three steps technique. So we can kind of say, okay, we only we do everything by digital. Can we follow it by digital? I say to my laboratory, Axel, it's okay. We can do it. We will do all the case. It's just one appointment to bond everything. So we came here in July. I prepare thanks to the, the composite, inside the composite, to be sure that my preparation was minimally invasive. So I prepare. I have some um, burrs, typical burrs. We can do this to be sure. I'm not to have to be more deep and so touch the, the teeth. So this is the anterior, upper. This is the, the front. So don't forget to pre-order before a new set of provisioners, okay? Even if you can't let Olivier get back to home like that. So this is the minimal invasive preparation. Maybe you can, you can go back home by, like that, of course. So it feels so, so good, so fine, so better than before with the, with the different uh, provisionals. So he come, he came home with the new provisionals, of course. I make the impression, I put some uh, restoration um, behind, uh, just, just near the gum. I make the tartrum, of course. Everything is okay. The preparation is done, the print is done. Olivier came back and we, with one appointment of seven hours, seven hours appointment, he has the best. <laughs> he is the, the top one of uh, to be on my on my stage, okay? So this is the, the preparations. You can see um, the um, anterior teeth are not prepared like a crown. It's a preparation like a veneer, but you have two veneers. One uh, palatal veneers and one, one buccal veneers. Okay, I will put the sandwich technique. It's not sandwich; it's bilaminaire, bilaminary techniques. Okay, and you have veneer lay here and overlays of post in posterior. So we need to to decide that uh, for the uh, lower edge, we don't need to to put some ceramic because the small point of composite was okay. I, mean, I don't want to, to take it off more uh, teeth, more enamel than before. And I want just to additive uh, some kind of composite. Do you follow me? So I ask Axel, my in the laboratory, to make the initials. We print the, the initial case and I print the the project the full project and I ask him to make another impression of the half project why in this case I have one project and one less okay why did I do that 
So the lower edge is one initial on the left, one full project on the right, and in the middle, you have the half project. And I ask my laboratory, my laboratory Axel, <laughs> it's his name, Axel, to make some key, some printed key to push the composite exactly where I need to push it. This is the key of a half and one of full. I need two different keys to push the composite without um, have a lot of excess between the chip. Because when you, when you want to, in one time, push all the composites, you will have the, the teeth stick between them. But we don't need that. We want to, to take the uh, don't tell. We want um, prevention. We want, we want to clean our teeth and to take one, what is it? Fil dentaire, to have the term. <laughs> dental floss, dental floss. We need to push dental floss between the teeth. So, so it's not possible to take the, the teeth together. So there is one full and one half. And the first I will put in the mouth is the half. I will take, a, take it off the excess and after we'll take the full to complete. Okay, I will show you. So this is the printed keys. You can see, we can see the project in the upper side of the teeth, really, really fine. I, I think I'm a, I'm a good dentist, but I can't do it with like that. I can't uh, sculpt. It's really difficult to sculpt the composite for me, in my hands. I prefer just push the composite like Axel did. There is an article because this case is in an article in France, so we maybe you can find it. I don't know, because this case um, normally we need to to use the term of uh, Geneva keys. Geneva it's a town, a city in Switzerland, and sometimes one day we can see this printed keys happening in in the world. I key of Geneva, but not yet. Take your time, man. Take your time. So we need to to explain this this um this case with um guided stratification. Okay, so Olivia come back and ready for the seven hours appointment. We have the overlays and vanillas posterior in the upper edge to to bond in the teeth. Like that, small pieces, really, it's beautiful. It's um, really, really strong in, when you bond it. It's aesthetic, it's uh, durable, it's really fine. And just one <laughs> in the lower edge. And for the anterior teeth, we have two veneers. The palatal veneers in composite, and the ceramic veneers in Google. This is the three steps. The three steps is a posterior, upper and lower, then second steps, composite in palatal veneers, third step, ceramic in buccal veneers. Okay? Yeah, you can see you have just the palatal veneer in the front for occlusion and the ceramic veneers, buccal ceramic veneers, complete for aesthetic in the incisal, incisival, incisal, incisal. <laughs> can see two different veneers by two. So, posterior, I bond, always bond, always, always, always with a rubber dam. Isolation is the key. Isolation, without isolation, you can't bond for long terms. You need isolation, really important. So etching, drying, etching, drying, bonding, sunblasting before. You can see there is sunblast everywhere. <laughs> sunblasting, etching, rinse, 
you dry after you put the adhesive you make it dry a lot and after you can put a photopolymerization before bonding for the anterior part is really really uh, interesting to do this in the same time the palatal and the buccal so you can stick and i always begin by the two um central incisive because you need this case it must be really really parallel and perfect for the smile when you have the lateral incisive incisive a uh, little bit in rotation or longer smaller it's not so important but the symmetric of the central incisive is really really important for aesthetic for for the for the eye when you see something aesthetic in in the middle it's okay when you see something a little bit in rotation it's okay lateral is not a problem but central is really really important <clears throat> so you can see the preparation is really really minimally invasive we need to make really bigger the teeth so it's the same sandblasting etching drying you see when I dry after etching and I can see all the enamel, I'm so happy. More you have enamel, more you can uh, bond for long terms. It's really, really, really important. Because between the enamel and the dentin, you have a junction, the enamel junction. This is really important to, to conserve if you can. If you have this uh, junction, you can um, have the same properties for your teeth. So make a project before to do uh, between, in, inside the, the project to conserve the animal and to stick, to bound to the animal. So here you can see I have two different um, instruments. It's Optrascut from Ivo Clarivadon with some pads. Okay, I have to stick some pad in the same time to be sure it's the right place and photopolymerization, okay? I do the other central incisive, and after I bone the rest, okay? For the lower edge, really important because we can use the, the printed keys, okay? Always by rubber dam, you see there is a rubber dam. There is a pink rubber dam. I'm a girl, I <laughs> use pink rubber dam, I love it. So you have all the edge, and you can see the key. I brought the key in the middle because it's really, really easier to put one by one, one side by one side. So I said sand blasting, etching, uh, adhesive, so I separate during the adhesive, and I will put the composite in the key, okay? And after I push the key to be sure it's in the right place and thanks to the, to the um, half key, I can be sure like I'm in the right place because my key is like that. You can see, I hope you can see my face. <laughs> I make a lot of <laughs> gestural. <laughs> so I can photopolymerize. Um, when I keep the, the key in my mouth, okay? So you can see the, the, the step, etch, sun blasting, etching, dry, and I can isolate by Teflon. Uh, teflon is PTFE, Teflon. It's really, um, really small, it's not so heavy, it's really fine, really fine, not, not heavy. So we can stick together without bonding the 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 teeth uh, just be uh, just behind just near the teeth no teeth by teeth okay it's better so this is the upper edge at the end you can see you can if you look good you you can have the you can see the different veneers you can see this is the lower edge and I have to be sincere I can't do composite like that for me it's impossible 
can see. It's beautiful. <laughs> and this is the, the stronger composite that, can, that we have. It's not liquid composite. It's not flow. It's not flowable. It's the really strong composite that we have. It can persist for a long time. It's made for. So this is the, the smile of Olivier at the end. This is easier to have a smile now. Maybe we can, can cut the video. <laughs> so this is the, the, the uh, final smile of Olivier. You can see the, the perfect work of my, um, uh, my laboratory. And this is, now we can have a smile, a normal smile, a um, usual smile, a natural smile of uh, Olivier than before. It seems really more sympathetic like that. How you feel? What do you think about? Okay, if you have more questions to this, I can, uh, if you want, um, let you the, um, the article with this case, with you describe everything. And I can um, answer your question if you want by Facebook or by Instagram. Or behind, um, just near the, the video, I can, can show you a question and can, can answer. I hope you enjoy. I enjoy to be with you and to share this case with you. How do you feel? Well, it's very interesting technique. Very nice. Thank you. Um, I hope you enjoy. It's 3D printed composite. No, yes. I think it's 3D printed. Um, it's not a print. It's um, milled. Yes. Um, I know just one uh, printed uh, composite uh, from yes. Switzerland. We they asked me to to test it, so I will be enjoy to test it. Uh, but I I don't have a printing uh, printing here, so I, I need to ask my laboratory if they can do it. You a case with implant and with aesthetic behind, and we find a new technique to to share uh, and to. Because I, I have two different uh, laboratory, one for aesthetic, one for digital. It's not yeah. the same. Difficult yeah. to share the technique. So we need to, to find a way that they can um, talk together and to understand them themselves. And it's really, really hard in the, in the first time. So now I have the technique and I can't change. <laughs> it's really the perfect mm -hmm. technique. So yeah. Um, yeah. And there is another thing because I, I did a lot, a lot of three steps technique, a lot. But this is the first one, the first time then we make something digital. Um, sometimes we need to to mix both uh, both techniques. This is the only case I have only, only digital. Because mm -hmm. you can see the, the final aspect of the veneers. I like it, but I prefer when it's my aesthetic laboratory we did that you understand I was not so obsessed yeah. about uh, aesthetic yes. he was really obsessed about the, the function and the fact that he can um bite and and be be good in his mouth because he wasn't good he can't feel nothing good here so he's yeah, really just, really happy this is uh yeah. it's different to, to find the, um, the perfect match between them thank you have a nice bye. evening bye, bye. have a nice evening <laughs> Ciao.